The rehabilitation and raising of the Nakala Dam project started in 2009 and was completed in 2014. The project is worthy of the award for outstanding civil engineering achievement in the category of international projects due to the design team's innovative and intuitive approach to the design of various aspects of the rehabilitation and raising in order to improve the safety of the structure and increase the potential for water supply from the impoundment. The Nakala Dam is located on the Mokula River approximately 30 kilometers southwest of Nakala City in northern Mozambique. The dam is the primary water source for the port city which is situated approximately 200 kilometers northeast of Nampula City. The port of Nakala is one of the best deep water harbors along the eastern coastline of Africa and is a strategic import-export route for Mozambique linking to Blantyre in Malawi. The government of Mozambique has declared the Nakala city and surrounds an economic development zone. The Nakala Dam was designed and constructed from 1968 to 1975. In 1982 the dam was overtopped for 10 consecutive hours due to the non-operation of the spillway gates. In 1983 the resultant wash away area was reinstated and a layer of stone pitching was placed on the downstream face of the wall as a protective measure against the possibility of future overtopping. Further repairs were undertaken in 1995 and 2002 which focused on a void that repeatedly formed on the downstream shoulder of the embankment near to the concrete wing wall of the spillway. In 2006, the Nakala Dam was declared inherently unsafe and the water level in the dam was kept at a low level thereafter. This was in order to reduce the risk of failure. This resulted in severe water shortages for Nakala City for several years as the yield of the dam was significantly less than the demand. As a result of this, the government of Mozambique through the Millennium Challenge Account Mozambique appointed the consultancy of Jefferson Green in association with Consing of Mozambique and Lamont of Zimbabwe in 2009 to undertake the feasibility study, environmental and social impact assessment, detailed design and construction supervision of the rehabilitation and raising of the Nakala Dam. Unusual features of the project and challenges were encountered. There were several complexities involved with rehabilitating and raising an existing embankment as opposed to a greenfields project. The geotechnical investigation made use of sonic drilling techniques so as to not compromise the integrity of the existing embankment structure during the investigation. During the geotechnical investigation, the stone pitching covering the area of the left flank of the embankment where there was evidence of a leak was removed. This revealed a large void centered on two pipes traversing through the embankment. The void was approximately 2 meters wide, 8 meters long and 1.5 meters high. This posed a serious threat to the safety of the dam and the downstream communities. The hydrological investigation and hydraulic modeling undertaken during the feasibility study revealed that the existing spillway consisted of two radial gates at a maximum capacity of 300 cubic meters per second whereas the required design discharge figures were a recommended design flood of 734 cubic meters per second and a safety evaluation flood of 1,530 cubic meters per second. Innovative methods were used to calculate these flood figures given the lack of observed data in this part of Mozambique. For this reason, a new spillway to deal with the large cyclonic rainfall events experienced in the region was designed without impacting on the surrounding communities. This design also needed to make allowance for ensuring community access across it during flooding and importantly needed to consider construction sequencing such that the trade route between the city of Nakala and the country of Malawi was not interrupted. Ultimately, a spillway with a semicircular shape and an uncontrolled ogi crest was constructed. The diameter of the semicircular shape is 76 meters, providing the required 138 meters overspill length. Robert splitters were included in the design in order to insist with the energy dissipation before the water reaches the stilling basin below. A spillway chute narrowing from the 76 diameter down to 30 meters at the discharge point discharges the water into an existing drainage line linked to the Meakula River. It was discovered that the reason for the development of the void in the embankment, which was resulting in significant leakage, was honeycombing of the concrete on the right spillway wing wall. In an innovative design, this problem was overcome by designing the new intake and outlet works to fit within the previous gated spillway structure to meet the requirements for the operations of the dam while also repairing one of the key weaknesses of the initial dam structure. In summary, the main features of the project are as follows. 
raising the existing embankment by 4 meters, including reconstruction of large portions of the existing embankment in the areas compromised by the leakage. A 133 meter long uncontrolled semicircular ogee spillway with stilling basin, including Robert's splitters and a spillway chute. A new combined intake and outlet work structure allowing multi-level offtakes. The new pump house is 20 meters long by 14 meters wide by 18.5 meters high. 3.5 kilometers of national road. A 44.2 meter long single span vehicular bridge across the spillway channel consisting of a double lane single carriageway with a road width of 9.4 meters and protected pedestrian walkways of 1.2 meters. The bridge deck is a hollow post-tension concrete box. A pipe bridge consisting of a walkway supported by the steel raw water transfer pipeline of approximately 800 millimeters that crosses the 76 meter wide spillway. This dam's rehabilitation and raising has assisted in securing a more sustainable water source to facilitate the growth of the Nakala region. And the realignment of the national road that previously traversed on the old dam has ensured that the economic trade route between Nakala and the interior of Mozambique and Malawi is maintained. On the 13th of April 2014, His Excellency the President of Mozambique, President Armando Gerbuza, officially opened the Nakala Dam.